now uh, okay uh, so there is a one uh, question from ibrahim uh, is that his calculator is giving different value yes so one of the things that you have to check when you get the calculator from uh, the store is that check the value of p by y okay so if you see that over here you have a button i by y above that you have p by y if you press this button second and press this i by y you should get the value of 1 second if you press and you press this i by y it should give a value of 1 please make sure that in your calculator it should come as 1 okay because by uh, default sometime a company it gives 1 company it gives 4 like that make sure it is 1 value of a single sum Okay. Now let's see how to find out the present value. Okay. So what is present value? Present value is, let's say suppose you, you have a very good friend of yours and he is giving you $100. Okay. But he says that he will give you $100 only after 3 years. So after 3 years, your friend of yours will be giving you $100. Okay. Now you want to know that Okay, so many of us like are interested in knowing that how much is our net worth, right? So you know, okay, you will be getting hundred dollar after three years. So can I say that your net worth will be hundred dollar today? If in today's world at t equal to zero, your net worth will be hundred dollar. Is it a correct statement or a wrong statement? Definitely, it is not a correct statement because hundred dollar you will be getting after three years. Today, the value of hundred dollar will not be hundred. The value of hundred dollar will be more or less? It should be less than dollar hundred. That is the value that you will get today will be less than dollar hundred. Right? So what we have to do is we have to follow a process which is known as discounting. Okay. In discounting, what we do is in discounting we bring this dollar hundred to the present world. So from n equal to 3, so we have t equal to 0 over here, 1, 2 and t equal to 3. From here, I have to bring it to t equal to 0. And I want to know what will be this value 100 today. And that will be your, if you see, that will be your net worth. Okay. Now, we had that formula, PV equal to, FV equal to PV into 1 plus i by y to the power n. Can we do some calculation? Can we do some modification and come up with the other value? That is for PV we can get. So can I write PV will be equal to FV divided by 1 plus I by Y to the power N. Can we do this? FV equal to PV 1 plus I by Y to the power N. That means future value you are bringing it to current period. Okay, now uh, if I want to find out the present value, so what I can get is I am getting hundred dollar divided by one plus what we have is let's say compute the same rate that is your required rate of return ten percent to the power three. So hundred divided by one point one to the power three. This calculation you can do on your calculator, or we can also use the time value of money functions. Please note that for time value of money functions you have five steps, five things to follow n, i by y, pv, pmt, fv. Okay. Out of these five there will be one unknown. Okay. There will be one unknown out of this. So n will be equal to over here how much? Can I say n will be equal to 3? What will be i by y? I by Y is the interest rate which is 10. PV, PV, do I know the PV? I don't know the PV. I do not know what is PV so I will leave it like this. PMT I will say that it's 0. So FV, FV is the amount that you get. How much is FV here? You are getting how much from your friend after 3 years? You are getting hundred dollar, right? So FV will be hundred. So you will do compute PV, right? Let's try to do the same in our calculator. Okay. So we'll do the same in our calculator and plug in these values. 
okay so and so remember that you have to clear your earlier time value of money work so second clear time value of money n is over here 3 okay what i prefer is if you go this way or this way it will be good so that means you will not forget if you have uh, not uh, given any value because if you do randomly if you put these values you will may miss so i what i prefer is i prefer going this way okay so i'll put n as 3 put i by y as 10 pv is not known to me pmt is 0 fv is 100 okay i will compute pv so that means I am getting 75 rupees is the value of that 100 rupees today. Now why this is coming negative? Okay. If you see the ideal scenario will be you are getting 100 rupees after 3 years. That is an inflow. But for that inflow you have to pay some money today. So that will be your outflow. So that is why you are seeing negative. In uh, this CFA like always uh, the calculator has a way wherein PV will be a sign which is exactly opposite of FB. Okay. Of PV and FB, that is what we call as computation of single sum. So here, like till now, we were doing annual compounding. Okay. Now it is not necessary that the compounding is annual. The compounding can be more than annual. Now think about, let's say you are investing some of your money in uh, in an in a, in account wherein it gives you a rate uh, which is, uh, what I would say is, the rate that you are getting is more than that. So let's say uh, the rate you are getting is 12% per annum, okay? but the compounding is done monthly. So you invest a money, so where the compounding is done monthly, you pay let's say you invest over here dollar hundred okay. I want to know how much you will get after one year okay. how much you will get after one year okay. now think over here what is happening the year is one okay. here you have like t equal to one if you want to write t in, in the number of years but I can also write t in the number of months also so I can have t equal to 0 first month second month third month like that i will go till 12 month okay you have invested 100 dollar your 100 dollar will compound for the first month whatever the money you got over here it will compound for the next month whatever money you got it will compound for the third month and like that till at the end okay so what is happening over here is compounding frequency is more than one in a year now in that case we follow two approach like you can uh, say but I will uh, say that one approach which is uh, time tested and very good and that is what we say is number of periods over here the year is one okay but in each year how many number of periods are there 12 so what we say is the total number of periods you will be having is 1 into 12 so the number of period will be 12 okay. then what will be the interest rate so if you see this is interest rate per period i by y okay this is also called as periodic rate okay. so it is interest rate per period or it is also that periodic rate now periodic rate means what you have to do is whatever is the stated rate so please note that this rate which the bank has given to us it is called as the stated rate stated rate is the rate that the bank has given periodic rate is the is given as stated rate so periodic rate is your stated rate divided by number of period right so over here stated rate is 12 number of period is also 12 so the periodic rate will become 1 is this clear so my i by y will become 1, my present value will be still minus 100. Okay. What will be PMT? Still PMT we have 0. Okay. I have to compute the future value. Okay. So please ensure that when you are using this method, your P by Y is set as 1.
Okay. If your p by y is not set as one, you will not get the answer. Okay. And if you want to compute using uh, the normal uh, calculation, so we can say that future value will be equal to hundred into one plus periodic rate. Periodic rate will be here twelve by twelve, which is one percent. So point zero one to the power number of periods will be twelve. Okay. So one point zero one to the power twelve. So in the using the calculator, how you can solve is make sure that you clear your earlier time value of money work. So second PVFV, it is cleared all your work. Now what we will do is we will put the values. Okay, what is the value? N is how much? Twelve. I by y is twelve is the annual rate divided by twelve. So stated rate by number of period in one year. Will give you one, so your I by Y will be one. PV here you are depositing hundred dollar, so PV since you are depositing it is minus hundred, so PV is hundred. Okay, what is PMT? PMT still is zero. Okay, and you will compute the future value, so your value will come as hundred and twelve. Okay, so that means if in one year you invest. Okay, the rate is twelve percent compounded monthly. You are getting one hundred twelve point six eight. Okay, so what is the return that you have received? So if I want to compute the return, can I say that my return would be equal to one hundred? No, it will not be twelve. That is a twelve percent is a stated rate. Twelve percent is a stated rate. But think about the return. How we compute the return? Return is equal to amount. Minus the investment divided by the investment, right? So your amount is one hundred twelve point six eight two five. Your investment was hundred, right? Divided by hundred. So if you do it is twelve point six eight two five by hundred, or in terms of percentage, you will multiply with hundred. So the percentage return that you have received is twelve point six eight two five percentage. Okay, but. The bank had stated you how much rate. The bank had stated you twelve percent rate, and you are receiving more than that. From where this money is coming? The money is coming because what you are having is whatever you had deposited this money. This is getting compounded, compounded. So you are earning interest on the interest. Okay, with with twelve percent. Without one year compounding, your money will come from here to here directly, without having any interest on interest. With this, what is happening is you are earning interest on interest. Okay, so you are getting more money. Okay. So now, if you see this term, okay, this is known as so. There is a, a term used for it. Okay, it is known as effective annual rate. Okay, what what is effective annual rate? Effective annual rate is the rate which you realize, which you realize in one year. Okay, now because of compounding, because of compounding, you are getting higher rate, higher rate than. Can I say that? It is because of compounding we are getting higher rate than the stated rate. Okay. Now let me try to understand that how this uh, it, because in examination you will get I will give you this question. Okay, so there is a product investment product A, there is an investment product B. I will give you this question. The stated rate annual rate stated rate for this product is ten percent. The stated rate for this product is nine point nine percent. Okay, this. The compounding over here is quarterly. The compounding here is monthly. A very simple question I am asking: You should invest in A or you should invest in B. Let's say you are guys are saying B. Okay. What I do is I change the rate. I decrease the rate to nine point five percent. What is your answer? Will it be A? Will it be B? Okay. What if I I give you this nine point eight five? Will it be A or will it be B? Okay. 